Guys, this is the point that you need to understand. Very important. If you think that you can explain the messaging good, think twice. Listen, you have two years, one month. This is the balance between what you need to hear and what you need to talk. Every light start with one single point of light and you just need to take it and everything will come. Hi everyone and welcome to our podcast at Tammy. Tammy is an international software development company that designs, builds and delivers software for sustainable businesses and promising startups. Today we've got with us Ronan Chan, co-founder and CTO of LBIO and Eden Ventures. Ronan, hello. It's nice hello. to see you today. How is your day? Good. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, I'm uh, okay. Um, yeah. In the middle of the, the day, same. it's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Ronan, I know that you have your own podcast. What are your feelings about being a guest today? It's nice because, uh, to be honest, even when you host a podcast, uh, it's not meaning that you're not pinpoint your agenda in it. Uh, it's meaning that you give more credit to the um, to the interviewers, uh, to the guests, etc. But uh, to be on the other side now, that I'm being interviewed by you, it's nice and, and it's going to be fantastic. Great. How did you actually come up with the idea of having your own podcast? I think it's something that it's uh, cooked for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, if, if, uh, if you can check and if you can uh, recall, the podcast started in January, February this year. It's almost uh, 11, 10 months. And what happened is that before that, people all the time uh, approached me via the LinkedIn, via the network, even in the university, etc. That um, that they, that they would like to uh, learn more, to understand the language, you know, the high tech language, mm -hmm. the innovation language, to understand how to build a startup. Because I I done it in the past, I'm going to do it in the future, I'm sure. And and what they're looking for, they're looking for a sandbox that they can play and hear and get some inputs from all over uh, all over the world. Because by the end of the day, every episode, I'm interview a variety of uh, people, like from the marketing, from the sales, from the technology innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, the last episode was with uh, a very important uh, doctor uh, from uh, John Hopkins. Uh, University located in the U.S. During the interview, we spoke about uh, the technology and regularity and some devices, you know, medical devices support in the high tech zone. If I go back to the original question that you asked, it starts just that people pushed me, "Hey, Bonin, jump to the pool, let's do it," and this is what happened. Yeah, it's great that actually you find time and resources for this because I think that uh, what you are doing, it's a great thing uh, even for young people and I don't know, for people of all ages. So you have such a vibrant life, I can say. Uh, you are the co-founder and CTO of two companies. You have your own podcast. What is your secret in managing all of these parts of your life? Passion. This is the this is this is the only thing. Just passion. You know, I, I I'm we are talking about now that it's quarter to three in Israel, and I'm uh, just finished uh, almost nine hours mm -hmm. that I uh, teaching in the university. I started at uh, half past seven o'clock in the morning and uh, drive back from the university in here to sit with you. And the only thing that I'm uh, thinking about it. Is the positive energy that I'm getting. You know, after six, seven hours that you teach, it's you're, you're tired. But no, the passion, it, this is the driving. This is the driving a mechanism that I really think that I have. And this is the passion that I want to uh, transfer mm -hmm. to, to you, to, uh, to the youngest people. Uh, be optimistic. Uh, those of you that don't have any history of development and just starting. Uh, to walk in the market, 
be passionate, be optimistic and move forward. Great. Most of your students, they are your listener. Do you know this no. fact? No, I checked it. To be honest, <laughs> I checked it because I'm not doing, a, 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 you know, advertising during the class mm -hmm. no sure. uh, most most of the most of the people first of all it's worldwide you know from europe east europe west europe and um, united states south america uh, even asia pacific uh, i cannot pinpoint directly which kind of uh, audience i can tell you that the ages it, the, the variety of the ages is starting from you know something around 2025 20, up until 55, 60. So moving to the next question, how do you prioritize your daily activities? Is there a rule which you use? First of all, I'm using a lot of uh, automated uh, mechanism mm -hmm. that enable me to manage my uh, daily. If it's uh, using third parties solution that managing my, my uh, dictionary, my First of all, my my uh, diary, and second, my calendar. You know, my calendar at the day and the hour. Uh, so everything that is can be automated done, I'm the first one to uh, to use it. Second, every week, you know, by the end of the week or by starting the week, I prioritize which kind of activities I have. Uh, if it's to uh, uh, managing or provide some. Um, consulting regarding the CTOs mm -hmm. that I'm working with companies uh, to work with uh, with founders, co-founders of startups uh, to establish the connection with new companies that would like to have grants from the Israel Innovation Authority, from the EIC, uh, uh, even from Scandinavia and, and even from Europe. So I prioritize everything and, and pinpoint that in, in my, my, my dailies and uh, I provide this uh, time. The most important thing that I put in myself is to make it enjoyable, that I can enjoy the mm -hmm. feedback that I'm getting and the feedback that I'm sending back uh, to those companies that I'm escorting, uh, provide the consulting, and even uh, create with them all the all the new structure in order to make money, uh, uh, have market landscape. I fully understand what they need, what is the messaging, and even to, to do the fundraising to get with them. Let's talk about your company, Albio, which offers an entirely new way to evaluate credit applications and monitor credit payment. Could you please tell us in detail about the algorithm? In, in the frame of, of the solution that we are providing, uh, Albi is providing a solution for uh, credit cards, for instance, companies, etc. <laughs> Uh, and any loan company that would like to uh, provide a loan to the end users uh, that enable uh, them to fully understand who is the guy that asking for the loan. Mm -hmm. Now, not from the financial uh, factor or from, from the from financial vector that they have, you know, what is your uh, a commitment to pay the loans, etc. or what is your risk analysis based on your financial institute, the bank, if you're using credit, which kind of card, uh, credit card you are using, etc. No, we are providing another new layer that just lay on your behavior. Who is the guy behind the, the screen? What do we know about him? What, what is be, his behavior is going to be as a prediction when he doesn't have any food, but they need to pay for the loan? And what we are collecting by the end of the day, the system or the platform collecting around, you know, 3,000 endpoints, data endpoints that collect information about you, about me, etc. Mm -hmm. And once we analyze it using machine learning and deep learning, it enables us uh, to uh, um, create a score, a credit score, and provide you some initial business insight regarding the guy or the person that we'd like to have credit. How did you come up with the idea of this business? To be honest, it's not just me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, together with uh, Shachar, my uh, co-founder. Uh, Shachar is a CPA. We sat 
a lot of time uh, during lunch and talk about these ideas and how what is the benefit that we're going to put on the table and how to create a company and establish that. Uh, and then Albi was uh, born by the end, uh, you know, by, by the end of the day. It took time, uh, but it's a wonderful journey. What was the greatest challenge during this time? One of the challenges that, that we had in, in the beginning was the messaging. Guys, this is the point that you need to understand. Very important. If you think that you can explain the messaging good, think twice. Take somebody else, you know, a third party that will hear your voice, will hear the ID, you uh, uh, will hear what the benefit of the company of the solution that you would like to uh, create and make and make it, uh, 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 tell them all the story and get back with the results uh, what he fully understood. And then, just then, uh, you can understand that the messaging is good. You know, companies are falling about the messaging. People do not understand, okay, what is the benefit that you bring to the table? Mm -hmm. What you have that the other doesn't have? Because there are some competitive analysis, there are some alternatives on the solution. Tell me what is the benefit or, or what is the added value technology-wise, money-wise, marketing-wise, whatever. Be very clear about this messaging. To be honest, it took us about six months, between six to uh, two qu three quarters, until we found um, the right person that shuffled everything inside and make it the messaging very clear mm -hmm. that in, after 10, 10, 15 seconds, people can understand what I'll be, what is the solution that I'll be provided to, to the table. What uh, technologies are you using in Albi.io? First of all, uh, I'll be, I'll be uh, using uh, two main uh, technologies regarding the backend and the frontend. Uh, you know, we are talking about the technology side. Mm -hmm. So the backend is, uh, of course, is a cloud-based uh, system platform that's based on AWS, uh, Kubernetes, microservices, etc. Uh, some some code work uh, we wrote in uh, Java and uh, Node.js, and in the front. Uh, several things was uh, built by, uh, of course, Java. There are some things that uh, be, that we build in Angular and, uh, and and other things. I can tell you that even from the perspective of the backend, there are several procedures that even we create in C sharp, very old language, but uh, guys, machine learning and deep learning starting start from these languages up and running. Uh, there are some things that uh, we even wrote in Python, you know, and uh, we all the time, first of all, increase finding a new, a new things and move forward. And what are your plans for the next five years in LBIO? I, I really don't know because what happened, we are uh, creating a working plan, you know, uh, each year, and, and we uh, establish the connections, the new customers, uh, we are thinking about uh, new things, etc. So by the end of the day, uh, we don't have a five years plan. Mm -hmm. We have usually between 12 to 24 uh, uh, months. I think that the, the first uh, priority is to find a giant that can accept Albi and merge it uh, together. And then move forward uh, maybe to a different, another challenge. We all know that artificial intelligence and machine learning is our future. So what do you think? Uh, in what time most of the businesses in the banking sphere will be actively using artificial intelligence? I think that they already have. I, mm -hmm. uh, we found several several companies and several uh, 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 banks, even uh, one of the biggest or two of the biggest bank in Israel that already implement several methods or several mm -hmm. modules that related to the AI and machine learning, uh, not 100%. Uh, we need to take into account uh, the regulatory that there is, 
some uh, the, 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 the GDPR, uh, some policies, you know, user-friendly policies, etc. But uh, eventually, it's moving very fast and moving f- very closely to the banks, to the credit holders, mm-hmm. to the credit companies, and it's it, and it's there. You cannot fight it. You can uh, 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 take it together, uh, brace it, and 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 move forward. Do you feel high competition on the market now? Yes, even even so that we are uh, people that are saying that we are some in a recession period, you know, mm-hmm. from the U.S. market, from the uh, European market, and even here in Israel. I think that uh, you know the innovation, and this is what I'm talking about in the podcast. Podcast, and this is what we are talking even now. The innovation is all the time running; it's all the time moving forward, and this is why we have more competition. And more more company that moving forward. Tell us about your team. What it hard to find your team members? I can tell you that the most important things that I'm looking in team member is the skill set that is bring to the table. I'm not talking about an experience. You know, it's two different things. Mm-hmm. There is an experience regarding how to write a code, how to uh, uh, how how long. He was uh, he was a developer, etc. And this is one hand, and this is one domain. However, however, in the space of the skills itself, this is how to find. Because once you create the skills, or you have thinking of skill set that this member need to be part of uh, of the company, it's meaning that this is by the end of the day the company DNA. Mm-hmm. This is the company DNA. You create a skeleton with uh, with you, you know, all the C levels, me, Shahar, all the others, uh, 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 developers, etc. And all together is creating um, creating the company DNA. And this is very important to find, uh, to analyze, and to make it uh, working together. Uh, you've already mentioned a little what is important for you. Uh, in candidates, and could you uh, tell us what are your key personal values of the candidate which you pay attention to? I think that you need to be a team member, mm-hmm. you know, and not just walking alone, um, not to be a yes man, and all the time ask the questions, uh, make sure that you fully understand what we're going to get, what is the goal of the company, how we're going to get it uh, all together with the other uh, team members, Uh, that are uh, part with, of the company uh, to ask the right question uh, not to afraid to ask mm-hmm. the question because there are no stupid questions they are stupid yep. leave it by uh, leave it aside so this is an issue that you need to take uh, once you get this candidate check with him that this is this is something that they can run Run up and running. And uh, what is your best advice for entrepreneurs who is only on the beginning of their path? Oh, it's a good point. Uh, first of all, listen. Listen. You have two years, one month. This is the balance between what you need to hear and what you need to talk. Second, don't... Um, I'm not talking about that you're going to lose a lot of money or think about if if uh, consulting ask me for money uh, I don't have so I cannot move and I don't have money so everything is free no if you take something f- free you know by the end of the day you pay a lot so find the right people that you want to work with and pay the right money mm-hmm. okay yep. don't be afraid because by the end of the day, Angels or VCs going to check what you first of all what you achieved, what was the goal, and how you make it. This is the same thing that I, I have a lecture mm-hmm. that's running over the internet. His name is uh, uh, the lecture name is uh, on women better learn and so on. And one of the slides over there uh, is said is is explaining what happened that you as a founder, for instance. Uh, sitting with with the investors, and one of the sentences over there is, "Pay your own lunch," and this is the, the exact point that you need to understand. When you're sitting with the investors, don't make him to pay you the lunch. Pay your own lunch. 
-hmm. It's meaning that you are taking responsibility of what you are doing. And we are moving to the last question. It's kind of creative question. Uh, if you were a speaker at the conference, what would your motivational speech look like? Life story. It's meaning to bring some uh, story from, from the actual life mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to analyze it together. Nevertheless, or more important thing, to embrace uh, the failure, not the success. Talk about the failure, mm -hmm. where you've been failed, what you learned from, from the failure, and how you uh, implemented uh, together to the, uh, to the new world that you took. It's meaning that you have a balance in your life. There are good things, there are bad things. Mm -hmm. so As bad. always. As always. And think about it, that every light, every light starts with one single point of light. And you just need to take it and everything, everything is gone. Everything will come. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, as it was my last question, I want to thank you, Ronan, for your time that actually you find it. It was really a great conversation for me and some kind of inspirational. I hope you also had a great time with us here at Tammy Podcast. So, uh, see ya. Thank you very much. It was enjoyable. Uh, looking forward for the next chapter.